Good morning, everyone. Let's go ahead and get settled. Uh, good morning and welcome to day three of the Arizona Wildfire and Incident Management Academy. Uh, my name is Logan Moody, one of the planning section chiefs for the incident management team. This is the operational period briefing for Monday, March 11th at the Academy. And to get things started off, we'll start with our weather. Good morning, everyone. It's awesome, awesome here to be here at the Academy. I'm Valerie Myers. I'm the meteorologist here for the Academy. I also help instruct S290 and sometimes 390 classes. So I look forward to seeing a lot of people still there throughout the rest of the week. The weather is so important. You must be apprised of the weather and know the weather at all times because it is your safety and the safety of others. We do have some wind coming in today and it's gonna persist through tomorrow, and it's gonna be pretty breezy and windy at times. So please pay attention to the weather, especially if you have some outdoor activities today. The wind can be tricky. Have a good day, learn a lot, and be safe. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Colin Port, and I'm one of your operations section chiefs for the Academy. Uh, two changes on the IAP today. FI 210 will not be doing the sack lunches as it says. They have a lunch at 1130 and 215 will be getting sack lunches instead of having a lunch time. With that, 34 classes on campus today. Um, 15 are starting, five ending, 704 students, 865 total people. Today, is our biggest day. Uh, we are happy to see this many folks here, but there are a few things we need to keep in mind and that is parking. Make sure you're only parking in the designated parking areas. Uh, we don't wanna see anybody get towed. Uh, our lunch times are gonna be critical also to keep our cafeteria staff happy and be able to get in and out of there while taking care of everybody. So uh, please adhere to those and have a good day. Thank you. How about now? I don't need this thing. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, good morning, everybody. Chris Crotty, one of the incident safety officers. Uh, John Spenarella will be our field safety to cover all your safety needs out there. I'll be on campus. The Academy prides itself on a higher level of education, and we're here to support you. So if you see something, say something. Let us know how we can help you guys out and make good decisions and have a great day. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. I am the logistics section chief here with the Academy. Uh, you guys are doing a great job with the meal times. Uh, keep up the good work. Today and tomorrow are gonna be the busiest days of the academies. So uh, please keep that in mind. Also, a uh, little bit of change. You're gonna see some people parking over here. That is not for students. That is for instructors and team members. Please make sure you're parking over there. If you guys need accommodations with anything special, uh, please come to Logistics in Room 104. Let me know. Thank you. Have a great day. Good morning, everybody. Devin Neely, Public Information Section. A uh, few things for you. Uh, if you have not downloaded the app for this year's Academy, please do so. Lots of good information there. Lists of vendors, maps, uh, course schedules, all those things that you might need while you're here are in the app. Uh, if you have the app, we also will point you to the info boards around campus, and there's uh, the Firewatch newsletter that comes out every morning after briefing, so check that out. Tonight is vendor night. You'll hear more about that from Deb in just a minute, but we have some videos up on Facebook featuring uh, the vendors that are so kind to support the Academy and be here with a lot of good stuff that you might be interested in. Uh, today is also some VIP tours, so you may see a big group of uh, elected officials around campus. So uh, smile, be nice. We may be joining you in some of your classrooms. 
Finally, the photo contest is underway, and we have 30-some-odd uh, entries so far. Uh, if you have a photo from the 2023 fire season that you think is fabulous, please send it to us, PIO at azwema.org. You can enter up to three photos, and we have a really great prize, and I will be surprised what the prize is, but I'm told that it is really, really great. Thanks much. Good morning, Deborah Packard, Human Resource Specialist with the team. Uh, today's focus theme for the Academy is wellness. So my HR message has to do with PTSD and mental health. And um, I just want to mention that the Wildland Firefighter Foundation has a new, really robust mental health program with a coordinator, all anonymous. So if you need resources in that way or you know someone who does, let me know. I can point you in that direction. I'm also the vendor coordinator for the Academy, and tonight we have our big vendor night. So please come down at 4.30, and we have some snacks. All the vendors have door, prize, uh, door prizes set up at their booths. You'll get one free ticket, and you will be able to go around and place that in the bucket for the door prize you're interested in winning, and around 5.30 we'll draw those. So we're open from 4.30 to 6. Please come down and support the vendors. Thanks. Hi, I'm Libby, I'm the Academy Director. Um, I am one of, blah, blah, blah. The silent auction is going on down in the vendor area. If you come and bid, make sure you put your phone number now, down or it's not a legit bid because we won't have to be able to know how to contact you when you do win. So make sure your phone number is on your bid. Also, we have some awesome numbers this year. We have 915 students registered for the Academy in 53 classes. And they're not all here today, but <laughs> there's a lot. Um, and this is our largest ever. So thank you all for coming and putting your trust in the Arizona Wildfire Academy for your education. Have a great day today. Good morning, everyone. My name is PJ Lingley. It's my honor to serve as the incident commander for the 22nd annual Arizona Wildfire and Incident Management Academy. Uh, a couple quick housekeeping uh, things. The QR code on your name tag, unless you are in a class that uh, we will specifically notify you, I'm looking right here, um, you know who you are, uh, you will use these. Everyone else will not use these. They don't go anywhere. They don't do anything. Uh, the QR codes are in your instructor packets in your classrooms for check-in. Uh, secondly, uh, the lady standing next to me, Ms. Vicki Bond, uh, is uh, doing our interpretation for ASL. <clears throat> and I want to say thank you, Jimmy, you spell Vicki. You got it? Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, you will see them. It's actually in Arizona state law that any public meeting uh, does require ASL interpretation. We do the, uh, we are compliant with uh, on our fire. So anyone from out of state, uh, please come up and uh, tie in with Vicki Bond. She runs a great program. We overutilize her people uh, quite a bit. And like uh, uh, I've said before, I speak fast. I use a lot of idioms and occasionally I use four letter words and they keep up and don't ask any questions. <clears throat> Lastly, uh, today's theme of the uh, Academy is wellness. So along those lines, uh, this week, we've got two different classes that actually address wellness in the fire service. This is something we haven't talked about very much uh, and is, has really come to a sentinel point. Uh, the, the term actually comes from the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation program, Attributes of Leading, but we, we're applying it here. We've uh, we just finished up a hospital and family liaison course yesterday. It is a forest service based course, but if you have not had that course, we're looking at uh, potentially bringing it back next year and you do not have to be an agency person to take that class. Uh, today, we're kicking off with our uh, basic SISM class and we're actually looking at bringing the advanced SISM class next year. All that ties into wellness. One of the things that, that we don't talk about is mental health and what that wellness looks like. Everyone is very aware of physical wellness, but that mental health, that acute fatigue, that chronic fatigue, how that stacks up. What does your support group look like? Who do you call? Uh, there was a presentation in one of the rooms the other day that, that talked about after an absolutely horrendous incident, the most impactful thing that happened 
is that gentleman's friends just called and said two letters. Hi. We all say we're going to call. We all say we're going to do that. And then we get nervous and say, well, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Pick up the phone, dial the number and say hi. And if we have one less suicide, that's one less name on a memorial, that's one less firefighter we lose to the system. So with that, everyone in your classrooms, take a focus on that. I want everyone in the classrooms to define wellness as to what it means for them and their position today, in their life today. And I want them to identify three things. What do you want to keep doing? What do you want to start doing? And what do you want to stop doing? So with that, thank you. Let's have a great day at the Academy. Thank you, PJ. And that will conclude today's operational period briefing. Please remember to turn your cell phones, radios, and other electronics uh, back on and have a good, safe day of training and be well.